Well, hey there guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, hope you all had a good week. Uh, if you didn't have a good week, this video will 100% help you out, okay? Uh, I'm going to talk about some things in this video that you uh, very much, most likely, have not heard about, okay? Uh, and they are really, really going to help you, okay? I'm being serious. So, watch this video till the end. It's a quick video, and you won't regret it. Alright, let's get into it. Now, in this video, I'm uh, going to be talking about some things involved with your gut health, okay? Now, you might be thinking, I already know about gut health. I know that gut health is important. I know about the microbiome. I know about gut flora, etc. But I'm going to talk about some specific things, okay, that you can do that you haven't heard about. Now, very, very briefly, for anybody out there who does not know the importance of gut health, basically your gut has uh, a microbiome or, or a gut flora, okay, which is essentially a, a whole bunch of uh, bacteria that live in your gut that are good bacteria, that are beneficial bacteria that do a lot of things for your body and your mind, okay? Very, very much so for your mind, okay? The gut is considered by many uh, world-class doctors, or best doctors in the world, I should say, uh, to be your second brain, okay? It is considered to be your second brain, and that makes a lot of sense, okay? Because think about it. Uh, how many different processes does your gut do, you know? Um, how many different things does it have to process? How many uh, vitamins and minerals and, and nutrients and, and, and drugs and, you know, etc. does it have to break down and partition and, you know, send to different parts of the body? It's a very, very big job and it's very, very complex. So uh, it would take an intelligent organ and it will, uh, in, in order to do that, okay? And the gut is no doubt um, nothing short of incredible okay now um, what I am uh, recommending that you do in this video is consume yeast okay now you, you might hear that word yeast and you might think uh, well if I consume yeast I'm going to get a yeast infection or I'm gonna get some kind of uh, fungal infection you know some kind of problem like that and uh, this was on the news a number of years ago. They were saying uh, that people consuming yeast uh, will cause serious health problems. And it's also been on a number of uh, websites. There's been a number of articles written about the uh, dangers of yeast. But it's all a myth, okay? Don't believe it. It is 100% safe. It is 100% okay to consume yeast. <clears throat> now, um... Why is it important to consume yeast, okay? Uh, first off, yeast is uh, packed with B vitamins, okay? Uh, you're probably familiar with what B vitamins are, uh, but the uh, most important uh, uh, B vitamin in there is vitamin B1, okay? Now, I can tell you, this is, this is a fact, you can look this up, okay? If you are deficient in B1, okay, in the long term, it can cause serious cognitive damage, okay? Cognitive damage. If you're deficient in the, in the short term, it can cause focus, memory, concentration, and energy problems, okay? Uh, and there is no offense, but, the, but there's no doubt that the person watching this video probably has a vitamin B1 deficiency, okay? Uh, because it is, it is fairly difficult to get vitamin B1 these days, all right? Now, you're probably wondering, uh, where can I get vitamin B1? How can I get vitamin B1? The two foods uh, that it is most prevalent in would be green peas and pork, okay? Uh, if you're not consuming a lot of green peas or pork, then you're probably deficient in it, okay? And that's a very, very big deal. However, if you consume bruised yeast or nutritional yeast, uh, Specifically, those two kinds of yeast, um, they are packed with B vitamins and they are uh, also packed with chromium, okay? Now, uh, chromium, if you don't know, is a uh, trace mineral uh, that is very, very important for uh, uh, basically energy for the brain, okay? Um, chromium is found in a number of foods, but just like vitamin B1, you're probably deficient in it, okay? Um, I've spoken a number of times in uh, previous videos about how uh, factory farming in the U.S. has uh, depleted a lot of uh, uh, fruits and vegetables uh, of their vitamins and minerals because the soil is depleted. 
Okay, but um, yeast is absolutely loaded with chromium, so that is uh, really gonna help you with any energy problems, okay? Uh, your muscles will work a lot better. Your nervous system will work a lot better, okay? And of course, once again, your brain, okay? Now, yeast also contains a species of fungus uh, that is uh, very hard to pronounce, but I will put it on the screen in words. You can try to pronounce that. Uh, but that fungus, uh, once it gets in our bodies and uh, gets in our guts, it likes to do a couple of very specific things. It likes to um, help our skin, okay? If you have any skin problems, it's gonna help you with your skin. Specifically, your mouth, nose, eyes, uh, and nervous system, as well as immune system, okay? Uh, so that's what it uh, likes to do with the human body, uh, which is absolutely awesome, okay? Uh, so yeah, basically, um, that's what I'm telling you to do in this video. Uh, start consuming yeast, uh, either brewer's yeast or nutritional yeast, okay? I personally like to take brewer's yeast, but it's totally up to you. Uh, brewer's yeast has a really, really nice flavor to it, okay? Because uh, it is a byproduct of making beer, so it's got a really nice uh, beer flavor to it, which I really like. Um, but it's up to you which one you want to take. now. When you are shopping around for a yeast, uh, the best form to get it in is just a big pa a, a, a big bag of uh, powder, okay? You could get it in uh, uh, capsules, but those are not gonna be as effective and you're not getting as much of the yeast as opposed to scooping it you know, out of a bag with the, the uh, powder. And uh, make sure that when you buy your yeast that it is non-GMO, okay? And that it is uh, unfortified, okay? When uh, yeasts are fortified, they, they, they add uh, sugar and they add all kinds of weird stuff in there and it it's just going to ruin the effects basically, okay? It's going to render it uh, almost useless, okay? Um, so yeah, I will actually leave a link to the uh, yeast that I take in the description. Uh, you can check it out if you want. Um, but anyways, yeah. Quick video uh, this week, uh, but it is really going to help you out. And if you did like it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.